Hello everybody. So, um, what I'm going to try and be doing, I'm going to be trying making a map using the CSGO SDK. Also, like, I'm using the hammer part of it, so the map maker rubbish. So, as you can see, I just hopped onto paint real quick just to try and find this layout. Because I've been experimenting with SDK a little bit. But I just want to, I don't know, just try and make like a big grand map. So I'm just going to make it like one side, five sides. And I based it on like this pub, and yeah, this is my design. So you can see all the like the yellow parts are the raised bits, the orange parts are like the lowered parts, and yeah, I don't know it's just well, anyway. Let's get right into it. So here's a time lapse of me slowly making it. So I started off trying to make the top um, top left of it. So it's just like all going on the layout, just making it all the box sites. Because I've been looking at all the SDK things that people have been doing. There's no ones that like I think are personally entertaining because they just have the time lapse. So I'm going to have the actual O thing and my thinking through it. So you can see me using the measure, measure texture just to indicate different things. So the orange is to indicate the actual inside, but the grey is to indicate the outside. I and mean, then you can see me using the crate texture just to show any dead space they need to fill up. So once I've done all that, I changed up a little bit so there's a bit more contrast. And also I raised the parts because I like when maps have a different map height variation. It just adds a bit more depth. So I did that. So I've done, done all that. Extended a bit more a little bit just because I thought it was a bit too crammed. Because I was going to have like two mids, one in the middle and one to the left. Well, not really mid, no, like two longs. That was my plan. So here you can see me um, making walls for it now. So I found this really nice brick texture, which I really like. So I'm just going to keep that. So find a height for it. Uh, use my, what is it? My Terra's dude to try and set up all the sizes correctly. And then me, you can just see me slowly making the walls all the way around. I had the staggered pattern like on the corner, so it overlaps a little bit. It just makes it look a bit cleaner, a bit more out there. Instead of just having a flat wall. And also there could be a lot of problems with having just a flat wall. So I just made it easier just not having a flat wall at full start. So you can see here me just messing around with all the different ideas. I think personally it's actually pretty sick of how what I've done here. So I start just messing around with just the wall placements, uh, the door placements, all that rubbish. So here you, you can see me just doing the outside bit. Then I just realised, oh, hold on a minute, I need to make that entrance, they make that entrance, because it only had two entrances at the start. So then I just added a few more, because I just needed to make the map a bit more diverse for both CTs and T. So just me going over, just see if anything I missed. And then I realised, oh, maybe this needs a pillar all. So I made a pillar, I made an extender bit, all that rubbish. So, so far it actually looks pretty sick, I really like the look of it. And just making sure all the stairs are in place, just for all the raised parts. By the way, this series will be um, continuing, because I want to keep adding detail to this map, make it look sick. Because I think it'll be quite entertaining, because I need need content to, for, let's just do something I'm doing right now, because I got, got into map editing, so I thought, you know what, let's just make something cool, yeah? So that's what I've been up doing, that's what I've been up for. So yeah, you can see me just doing some of the more basic rubbish, so adding um, ramps to everything using the, um, what's that tool called? I don't know, it's not a clip tool. But anyway, so in this part, um, I went into an actual, I actually play tested it, and I found there was quite a few errors. You can see me here fixing them. So here, I forgot to actually put an entrance to there, so you have to try and jump, but it just didn't. So I just put like a nice little slope. Here, I felt it was just way too open, so I closed it all off, making it look a lot better. I also added a, a door there. Obviously, I'm going to need to add the proper door later. I don't really know yet. I might just keep it open, because I don't actually like the idea of doors, because they're just awkward things that just bug out all the time, just, oh, it's horrible. Doors, the only, the only, there's only one door. Here you can see me actually using the grass texture, I actually lo logged in, tried to see, but it's horrible. So I went for just concrete, because I think it would just look standard and nice. So you can see me just showing off the map a little bit. Got the guy there, just to, like for mapping textures, and also had to copy and paste them, just so everyone's on each side properly, so five a side, just so I can test out with a few friends later. So, yeah, 
that's what I've been doing. Well, anyway, everybody, that's my map. So, this is the first part of it. This will be a run on series. So, thank you so much, so much for watching. And get excited for all the future videos of this. There'll be a lot more coming through. Anyway, ta-da.